When I was younger, the words stupid, wrong, and different words I often heard describe me when I came to school. I often heard things like, there's something wrong with the way your daughter is learning, and she's very, very different from the other kids in her class. Like, being a little different was a bad thing. Uh, I heard all these things throughout my childhood as people tried to fix me, and I truly started to believe that I was stupid. I was taught that everyone must learn the same way, and that everyone fits in the same box of normal. But it was so obvious that I wasn't normal, and I wasn't going to be fitting into that box anytime soon. I felt like some big secret when I was a child. Like, this needed to be fixed before anyone found out about it. I don't think my parents ever saw how unhappy I was with my learning, and they never really told me why I needed fixing, because they didn't know what was wrong with me either. They, I know my parents were concerned, scared even, that there may be no fix for me. My elementary years were filled with strange tests, where I would go to a building and sit in a blank room and take a test with the weirdest questions. It was strange to me because these tests were so easy and no one else in my, had, in my class had to take these tests, just me. The next thing I know, I was being given diagnosis, being told what special schools I needed to transfer to in order to fix this, and being told everything that was wrong with me. But everything they said was wrong. All these tests failed to show what was really going on. So finally, they figured it out. It was ADHD and dyslexia. So, Mr. and Mrs. Levy, you have a dyslexic child. For me, it was just a relief that I could be done with all those tests, but I didn't know anything about dyslexia. How am I supposed to live with something I've never even heard of before? Does having dyslexia still mean that I'm stupid or that there's something wrong? So, now I know what it is, and I realize that I'm not stupid, but I'm smart in my own way. And I don't need to be fixed to fit into one idea of learning, I just need a new direction. So, I can remember the first time I felt the struggles of dyslexia. I was only in preschool, and we were learning the alphabet, but dyslexia was already there. And I distinctly remember all the kids in my class learning it so easily and just breezing through it, and all my, parent, my parents and all my teachers were really frustrated and confused why that I could just never catch on to it for the longest time. So, even when I was younger, dyslexia was already there before I was diagnosed with it. The definition of dyslexia is difficulty reading, writing, um, interpreting symbols and letters, but does not affect general intelligence. The important part there is it does not affect general intelligence. And that was my answer that I've been looking for. I'm not stupid, I'm smart in my own way. So when most people think of dyslexia, they think it's just reading something kids just grow out of, but you definitely don't grow out of it. It sticks with you your whole life, and you just have to figure out a way to work through it. So, um, it's dyslexia really is not understood by everyone because it's not addressed in all schools and states, which is why it's really, people don't know anything about it, and that's why it's seen as such a bad thing. So, to get through dyslexia and to make sure it wasn't like a bad thing, I started collecting resources and getting help from my teachers to succeed in school. And the crazy part was, it was working. I was figuring out my way of learning and getting help and using all the resources that I could to keep up with the kids in my class and get the grades that I wanted. And after a while, I forgot that I even had dyslexia because I was figuring out what I needed to do in school. And it's not that I was different, it's just I wasn't typical when it came to school. I look back on the teachers who never thought I could get this far, and I look back on the teachers who gave up on me all those years. I look back on my parents who were so desperate for an answer for me, and I look back on my friends who thought I was stupid. And the one thing I wish they knew about having dyslexia is that it doesn't make me stupid or unintelligent, but a strong, smart person who's very capable of succeeding in school and overcoming any obstacle in their way.